Hello, my name is Steve and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop masks and layer masks and if like me you had a bit of a daunting time trying to get your head around how they work and what they're for then this tutorial hopefully will help you out a little bit so first of all let's open up an image and then I can explain what I'm actually going to do with them now I've got some images pre-prepared here now this is the first image that's me in the back garden doing a spot of digging what I've actually done is taken the photograph set the camera up on a tripod uh, so it doesn't move and I've taken a series of images with me in various different positions and the idea is I'm going to combine the the photographs to make it look like one image with about two or three of me for this tutorial I'm just going to do it with two but obviously you can use the same principle to add as many multiples of yourself as you like. I'm going to open up the second image which you'll see is exactly the same shot but with me over on the right hand side. There you go. And we're going to be using layer masks to highlight the underneath photograph through and show it on the top photograph. Okay first of all what we need to do is drag this, this image and put it on top of the other image and I'm going to use the move tool here very simply click on the picture drag it over onto the image up here come back to the shot and let go of the mouse there you go now that image has been placed on top we're going to need to move it a bit because it won't be in exactly the right place and this can be a little bit tricky if you've got a lot of detail try and get it in exactly the same place um, Sometimes it takes a little bit of messing around, but uh, there we go. I think I've more or less got that right. And we can see if we've got it right by simply switching it off by clicking the eye and then back on again. And there you can see that not much has moved, so we've pretty much in the same place. Obviously, the plants and the flowers will have moved slightly due to the wind in the photograph, but because of the way we use masks and layer masks that's not going to affect the overall outcome too much next what we need to do is put a layer mask onto layer one and we come down here to where the layer mask icon is click on that and that shows us now a white sheet of paper and this basically goes between the two images and we can cut out sections of this paper to show the image underneath that's the simplest way of explaining it and we do that by using the black or the white paint tool here okay to either highlight or block out any of the underneath images on this layer showing through onto the top layer I'm going to go over and select the paint tool and I'm using quite a large diameter brush here okay just for ease of uh, showing you how it works and we're going to use the there we go the black there make sure it is black and we're gonna click here and rub out some of this section and you can see in rubbing out part of that section on the layer mask it's actually revealing the photograph underneath there you go and I think we're just about done there just finish the arm off there you go and it's as simple as that and if we look over here at the layer mask you can see the black section there that I've actually cut out and that means that that section here on the background photograph is showing through the black section there if I was to reverse this and switch this onto white and then paint back over it you can see what happens it puts it back to its original position and uh, and only shows the top layer okay let's just go back and paint that back in so I'm going to look a bit hollow there you go and it's as simple as that thank you very much for listening and I hope this has been of some help